Hello everybody, welcome back to Battletech. We picked up a few funky looking weapons in that last episode, but before we get to play with them, we have a few more contracts to do because we've still got a few contracts here that are only one skull difficulty and I feel like I could probably manage those. So I am going to be doing one of these today. Uh, first things first though, I want to go to buy mech warriors and see if anybody can level up. You should always check your mech warriors before you go into battle. Okay, Behemoth's got a long way to go to get to the ace pilot that I want to give her. But once she gets that, then I can start spreading her out a little bit. And making her a bit more of an all-rounder. Or maybe I'll just go all the way down piloting, I don't know. Commander. Right, Havoc here. He is prioritizing gunnery, isn't he? Yeah, so he needs to wait a little longer. Medusa. You are my scout, aren't you? Yes. So you need to be working on your tactics, so you need to Reporting. sit on that XP. And Wrestler, you are my other gunner. You've already picked up that gunnery, so you're working towards sure footing, aren't you? So you can pick up piloting four. There we go. See? Training complete. It was worth checking. Okay. Contracts. Which one do we do? We've got Frontier Justice or Embassy Extraction. Frontier Government working for the Planetary Government or Embassy Extraction. This is a recovery. This is an assassinate. Okay. Let's go for this one. This one pays a little better. So let's go for this. And salvage wise, well we know there's gonna be at least one mech, so keeping it at one point of preferred salvage is a good idea, but I could up my payment a little bit. I don't know, do I think there will be a second mech worth getting a 7 salvage out of it. Uh, 2 points of salvage versus about 83 grand. Hmm. Do I think I'm going to get 83 grand out of 2 bits of salvage? That's the question I have to ask myself here. If it's mech salvage, possibly. If it's not... No, let's, let's go down. I'm not going to get to choose the salvage anyway, so it's probably best to go for the money at this level. Okay, let's deploy. I probably made all the wrong decisions there, but that's the contract I negotiated. And we're stuck with it now. Destroy the target and escape. Let's see how many mechs we have to deal with here. Probably a couple. I'd imagine there'd be more than one mech for a one skull mission. Command interface initiated. Okay, there's only one target that matters on this drop, Commander. Samir's already done a flyby and determined that our target is likely to be a short distance from you. Find the target, take her out, and proceed to the LZ for an evac. Good hunting, Commander. Oliviera out. Should have brought a coat. Ah uh, yes, the other advantage of this particular map is it is a tundra biome, which means heat sinking is a lot better. So we can really go ham with our weapons on this one. Roger. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Let's spread our guys out a little bit, put my heavy hitters on the hill. 
Not that I'm expecting the enemy to be anywhere near here. It's quite a long ways off to that position, so it's going to take a little while to get there. Moving to position. But you know, I should just keep my boys where I want them, out of habit. Okay, looks like there's a bonus to destroy all the enemy forces. So that's something to keep in mind. This Centurion's actually pretty damn fast. On the move. Surprised by how quick it moves. Have no doubt, it will be done. Okay. We are slowly closing in on the target position. That's the edge of my sensor range at the moment, so we should start seeing sensor contacts at the end of this movement. So let's sprint into the forest. Acknowledged. And see what we get. Oh no, that's that's my sensor range. Looked like it was saying my sensor range was a lot further than that. Okay. Well, push forward then. Acknowledged. Okay. This next move then ought to be what reveals the enemy. Well, I'm a bit concerned by how far out my centurion is, but they're a little bit exposed. I could get all the evasions if I went down here though. And I think I will. There we go, enemy I've got contact. A it's another Centurion, okay. Is it just this one Centurion? It's got an AC-10. Oh, that's a bigger gun than I got. LRM-10 and four and two medium lasers, okay. Okay, well. My Centurion's got all the evasions, so that's good. Let's get my Blackjack into a position where it can start shooting as well, and... Shadowhawk didn't actually need to be there. I thought that was the Vindicator. Whoops, my mistake. Oh well. Okay, let's see what they do. They're thinking about it. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. They baited me. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Still, that one mech there is a light mech, since it acted in four, which means it's probably not too much of a threat. And if I can take this guy down nice and quickly, standing by. That's not a good range for the SRMs. I get a little bit better. I can if I risk being on the rough terrain. I'll be moving slower, but I think it's worth it. Got it. Okay, boy, come get some. In the meantime, I'm giving you all of it. Roger that. Primary target game. And that's already blown off his right torso. <laughs> oh. I got his AC-10 ammo and his AC-10 itself, so yeah, he ain't gonna be shooting me with that. In fact, he's just running away. What a coward! In all fairness, I have done some significant damage to him. Ready for orders. Geez, sir. I'm actually thinking we might leave this guy alone now. He's only got an LRM 10 and two medium lasers. Maybe we should move over and engage this unknown mech before it can do anything too dangerous. That might not be a terrible idea. Or 
I can just go ham on this guy. No, no, I'm thinking that I'm thinking I'm gonna come over this way and play with this light mech. I got rid of his dangerous weapon, that's the AC-10. So let's see what this guy is. Boom, it's a locust. Oh, joy. You are in a very bad position. Wrestler. Let's find you a nice shot, shall we? Thinking here, probably? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's just rotate you a little bit, just in case that Centurion tries something funny. Don't think he will from that range, but... Best not to chance it, and... 55% chance to hit with the PPC. If we do, this guy's probably gonna die horrifically. Ooh, there goes his left torso. Yep, he did not like that. He did not like that one bit. There went his SRM2. Still got another SRM2, probably in his right torso. And medium laser will be on the center, I suspect. Order. Uh, let's just hide you in the trees and we can go after whoever the hell we want with you. Um, I'm thinking I'll take this light mech out of the game though. Prepare to eat an LRM 20 plus and an LRM 5. Here we go. Firing my target. And he's out. <laughs> Target neutralized. And we didn't trash the mech either. Okay, oh, that's damn. let's do this. That's only 25% of the enemy forces, so there's another two yeah. Another two to worry about. Good to go. And I'm thinking my centurion will just keep harrying this guy. That said, not very good odds to hit, and he's got cover and bulwark. That's gonna make him hard to hurt. Should I just try and disengage? No, no, no. No, no I should keep this guy honest. That's not terrible. Aye, aye. Let's just keep him honest. He has sensibly changed his facing so that I can only hit his most healthy side, but... Firing a full salvo. He's probably still gonna feel this. There we go, that did some damage. And that just tickled. Okay, let's see how he's looking. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he's so. Oh, I'm so close to stripping off all of his armor on his torso section. So, uh, this is a light mech confirmed. Yep. I'm thinking this time round, I'm gonna go over here and position confirmed. Finish off this guy now that he's moved out of the cover and attacked. So he's gonna be a lot easier to finish off. Confirmed. Nope, oh, that was a hit on his leg, but not a very good one. Reporting. Eesh, can't get any two evade moves, annoyingly. That'll have to do. Okay. 75% chance to hit with this PPC, come on. Actually, should I precision strike here? Uh, thinking maybe I should try and core out his center torso and just end him. Target confirmed. 
Boom. That looked like a centre torso hit to me. That hit something good. But it didn't finish him. Definitely hit the centre torso. But wasn't quite enough damage. Damn. Guess Havoc's going to have to finish it off. Is that good range? Yeah, that's fine. Moving out. Okay, come on. Let's end him. Damn, medium laser missed. But that didn't. <laughs> that's one fewer outlaw on the frontier. Front commander, well done. Get to the LZ for expression. Sort that. I've barely taken any damage so far. I'm gonna go after these enemy forces I'm supposed to be destroying for my bonus. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Though interestingly, it's still only showing 25%, so I guess that means there's still three more? Oh, brilliant, they didn't even manage to get an attack off. Receiving you. Let's see, where can I go? I go out here. I'm on, I'm on rough terrain, unfortunately, but I would get line of sight. Let's see what we got. It is... a flea! Oh boy! And he's only got three evasions. Okay, let's sensor lock him. To take that down to I've two. Got a sensor lock. Uh huh. here comes a vehicle, okay. That's not much of a threat. Systems holding. Ready for orders. If I come over here, I can actually get a shot somehow. <laughs> wow. It's only a 35% shot, but it's a shot. On my way. And it's better than sitting around doing nothing, so let's see if we can't get a little plink off on him. Nope, that missed. But it locked up his last Negative evasion, damage. so that was worth Repeat. it. Negative damage. Vindicator. That's pretty good range. Of course. Okay, we got good odds to hit with this PPC. Come on, if we hit the flea with a PPC, it is dead. It is so, so dead. Okay. Good to go. Oh, we missed. The PPC missed. Good to go. That hurts, man. That hurts. Okay. Ellerons, it is. Roger that. There we go, that did some damage. And it's another vehicle. Good, good, good. It's an LRM launcher. Okay. Okay, what's this flea doing? This is not a good camera angle, second game. Thank you. Okay, he's just running about a bit. Okay. Where did he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah. Let's continue to give chase. Confirmed. And sensor lock. There we go. Sensors. Boom, there goes two Locked of his off. evasions. Precious, precious evasions that he really, really needed. Okay, there's the scorpion. Ooh, structure exposed. Got to be careful now. Power breach. Internal damage. It's very light damage so far, but we got to be careful. Waiting for orders. Okay. Coordinates received. If I can get in amongst these tanks, I can squash them nice and easily. 
That said, I can actually hit this with pretty much my entire salvo and do probably enough to kill it, so let's take him out. Yep, there we go. That's him down. One more for the trash heap. What's the plan? I'm actually gonna use Shadow Hawk first on this. Just to, because I think the PPCs are better use of shooting when it's only got one evasion, whereas the LRMs are better for when it's got two evasions, so... Ooh, S laser crit, nice. I think I hit something good. And he lost his evasive because he got unsteady, nice. Very nice. Okay, yes, Commander. let's end him. Is that a good shot? Yes, it is. Come on, let's finish this. As you wish. Oh, that definitely hit him. Oh yeah, he, he he's in <laughs> he's in all the trouble. Oh my god. Wow, I'm surprised the pilot's still going after all that. There's the striker. Hopefully that didn't hit my internals again. It did, damn it. I'm here. Okay, I'm only gonna get one shot at this whilst he's on the ground. Whoops. So let's use the Vindicator. Just gonna stand still. And shoot this guy for all I'm worth. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> I mean, let's go for the leg, but we're probably not gonna get any salvage off of this thing anyway, so... Locking on target. There we go, both legs destroyed. Pilot incapacitated. Hope we can salvage that. <laughs> you, you think we can salvage anything off of that? that that's, there's nothing left. Ready for orders. Oh god, I can't quite get close enough to stomp. That's annoying. Move into position. Let's just give him everything anyway. And there we go. Okay. Reporting. Took a little damage that I could have avoided taking if technically, but it's not too bad. Shouldn't take too long to fix. A few days, I'd imagine. And it's probably worth the extra bonus payment, so... We'll find out in a moment. All targets eliminated. Sit tight, and I can collect you from where you're at right now. Mission there we go. Successful. Let's see what kind of salvage I did get. So an extra 25% pay payment. Very nice. That's almost an entire month's worth of running costs, that was. Yeah, Blackjack took a little bit of damage on that left torso. Unfortunately. Okay, let's see. we got flea parts, locust parts, or centurion parts. I have already got one part of the Locust, so I would be closer to making a full mech if I took that, but I think the Centurion parts are worth a lot more. Point seven million versus... Yeah, 686,000. Making another Centurion would be worth it. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. It particularly takes my fancy. LRM 10s, SRMs, nah, 85. I destroyed the AC 10. So, yeah, let's see what I get. Oh, I got the Locust part as well. Nice. LRM 10, MG, and an SRM 6. Okay, I'll take that. About 2.6 million's worth of salvage. Of course, a good pit. Good. 
bit of that is tied up in the mech salvage, which I can't sell unless I have a full mech's worth, annoyingly, but... Okay, let's see, let's see what the damage is. Let's see how long it would take to repair and how much. Two days for 5.7 Z bills. Definitely, definitely worth staying on and getting that bonus then. I can wait here for two days to get the blackjack done. Move that up. There we go. Okay, that will do it for this episode, so hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay bad.